Hello again. And uh, this is not really an update, it's an explanation of what's been happening for the last couple of weeks and why there's been no more um, videos. What happened was after the last update where I was running some locomotives on the uh, the new section of track, the um, storage tracks and everything was fine, I uh, wanted to film something for my next video so I um, switched everything on and uh, my ECOS started with the short circuit symbol as you can see and if I try and reset it it doesn't reset it's saying that there's a, there is a short circuit so I've spent the last week or two trying to work out what's going on I've disconnected all my points I've disconnected the um, storage tracks so it's totally isolated now but I just can't seem to uh, find this short circuit as I said one reset if I disconnect the power sorry if I disconnect the track from the ECOS everything's fine and I've been round the uh, all the joints on the track and I can't see any obvious signs of a short circuit I have got a habit of leaving tools on the track uh, and I, this has caused problems before screwdrivers or forceps or whatever causing short circuits but I've been around the entirety of the track I've actually hoovered the track in case there's a fish plate or a, a nail or something stray causing a short circuit but the track's clean and I just can't figure this out what's going on here um, and I'm to be honest I'm, I'm totally fed up with it now because I'm going to have to start basically dismantling everything to try and find out why I've got this uh, fault um, and it just doesn't make any logical sense it literally was fine one day when I did the filming for the update on the storage tracks and the next day it wasn't fine it wouldn't start without this uh, short circuit as you can see so um, I just can't be bothered with this anymore to be honest at the moment I uh, so I don't know what's, what's going to happen at the moment it could be a long time before I'm back because I really haven't got the uh, the uh, energy at the moment to, to start dismantling all the wiring it's just too much of it um, I'm thinking is it a faulty set of points Does could this cause this problem it just seems illogical that one day for it to be ok the next, day, the next day it's not ok I don't understand what could be wrong but uh, it seems the only way to find it is to unpick everything slowly um, which is a daunting task and uh, I don't think I'm up to it at the moment so it could be a while before another update just so you know where it is on a, the other side of the coin a bit of a double edged sword is um, the fact that I've just gone through 3000 subs which is amazing because I only ever started this video blog as a way of storing a, a diary of my um, attempt to, to build a, a model railway in the loft and uh, I can't believe I've gone through 3000 so really really grateful for everyone who's subscribed and I love getting your comments as well and I've made lots of mistakes and uh, I had lots of great comments over everyone so I do really appreciate it I did have something planned for 3000 subs which I can't do anymore obviously because I can't run any trains so uh, it's going to have to wait so uh, many many thanks though for 3000 subs it's, it's truly amazing and it's, uh, it's a little humbling as well so when I can be bothered which might be why I have to get my head together I'll, um, I'll have to start investigating this wiring problem I just don't know where to start to be honest I, <laughs> the thought of taking all the wiring apart is uh, it's just pretty too depressing to be honest because I've got a lot of track and there's a lot of wiring so uh, it might be a while before I'm back okay so take care and um, hopefully it won't be too long. Bye for now.